Welcome back, everybody. The unofficial end of summer next weekend, Labor Day weekend. Have you thought about what you're going to cook on the grill yet for that big final summer blowout barbecue? How about skipping the burgers and the pork steaks? Let's grill some pizza. There Scott Thomas and friends from the Grill and Fools website, they're all here this morning to show us how to get it done. Good morning, Scott. Hi, how are you? So what's the, what's the trick? You just start with the crust like you do with any other pizza? Well, we started with a pizza uh, bar here. So you get up your crust, different toppings, different sauces. You know, we got diff two different kinds of pepperoni, the little pepperonis for the kids. They love it. And then you... Now this looks like this is, is a ready-made crust. Yeah, this is, this is a this is a rustic crust you can buy at just about any grocery store. Okay. And Tom's making up a kind of a traditional one with a red sauce and then you know a cheese and some pepperoni. Um, we can make we got barbecue sauce. We got some pulled pork, which I actually got from Bogarts uh, um, yesterday because we didn't have any left over. Um, <laughs> and uh, we go over here, we make this this these little pizzas, and you throw them on the grill. And this is kind of a way to get everybody out. You know, here, pick up your crust, pick up your toppings, and everybody makes their own little personalized pizza. And that's a little more. Uh, you know, just a little more fun oh, around that the grill. That is cool. Kids love it, and adults yeah. can uh, make something that maybe they could be a little more adult right. than their kids' regular cheese or pepperoni. But and then wash your hands. How hot on the grill for something like this? Well, this, that depends on the grill. Like, Dad's making a barbecue sauce one, um, but th this this grill is going to be indirect. We're going to kind of go slow, so it's going to be about 300 degrees. Okay. Now over how here, how long will it take? Um, those will take about 10 minutes, maybe. Oh, really? So, wow, so that's they're cool. small. So over here, we got. If you guys want to be a little more daring, we've got a. Um, <laughs> this is a nice filet this mignon is my kind of that, pizza. that we're going. Breaking we're, out the steak this morning. We're going to cut up here, and oh I've goodness. taken this crust. This is a, a handmade uh, a crust that so we, we we took the dough and you oil it on the one side, and you put it right on the big green egg here, um, which our Arnold Stove and Fire was kind enough to send it down here with us, and um, and I you cook it on the one side. And then this side is still still raw. Okay. And then you, our sauce here, we're gonna use, this is, my wife calls it um, a steak sandwich um, pizza, because it's gonna taste wonderful. This is Andrea's. Is that Andrea's? I yeah. Say, that's, that's good oh, yeah, stuff right Andrea's. there, yeah. So we're gonna hit it with some Andrea's. And this is your sauce. Mm. Now, you don't wanna hit hit it too hard. It's not like a red sauce. You're not gonna cover it with that. Okay. And then we're gonna hit it with some, some nice mozzarella. Um, and then, so this is on the side that was on the grill when you started with your raw now, dough. Obviously, yes. the and fillet was previously. Yeah, we grilled it right out here. Cooked. Yeah, we cook it to rare it to because rare. it's going to cook more on the on the okay. grill. So then you spread out your fillet, and and this is about about a four a six to eight ounce fillet is all you really need for this. And it probably only takes about ten minutes to get your fillet. That to, right. And then a, to rare, my, right? one of yeah. my favorites, blue cheese. Yeah, the goes gorgonzola. On top of Actually, oh, on gorgonzola. The, yeah. I'm sorry. I apologize. On, on <laughs> the on the egg here, it, it got so hot. These, these things cooked in about in about six minutes because they were uh, the egg can go just do some incredible uh, temperatures. So blue cheese on there. All right, and then and, you put this back on. And this will go back on the grill. Get out of the way. A, there we go. Oh, look at the pizza paddle. Now that's a professional operation right there. Yeah. Wow. It's you're wow. not going to have a nice clean this was a round pizza dough when i put it on yeah. but when you put it raw onto the grill it's going to actually um get, get become a little off so right. put that you kind of need a paddle and you kind of need a paddle is there one so done the in here magic of television we have one ready yeah we made this one just just oh a few minutes ago gosh oh, oh i'm in seven. heaven okay a couple things to mention Let's, before we let these guys the wrap up okay we've got right grillandfuls.com <laughs> again just it's step by step, photo by go. photo, we instructions, grill, and all kinds right. of foods, right? Right. right? We do everything, and what we do is we we show we it's foolproof guide to grilling, basically. So you can't mess it up. Which I need. I'm not the best because griller, we've so. messed up stuff for so long that, <laughs> that, that, that we we show people when we make a mistake, we show them here's what we should have done better. Okay, and while Andy eats, I want to make sure we get I this in. You guys TV, have a competition coming up on the 22nd, September 22nd. Tell us about it, real September quick. September 22nd. It's a backyard barbecue bash. It's a grill contest for for non-professional. You can't bring custom rigs. It's just got to be your your normal <laughs> backyard grill, like a big green egg or a char grill or something like that. And uh, proceeds go to Wounded Warrior. All right, Wounded Warrior, you're going to help out a good cause and try some good food. We have a link to their website, grillandfools.com, on our website, fox2now.com. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. you got to do the steak pizza. What did you call